Hello students and my dear friends. In this session, we'll discuss some of the important pathology multiple choice questions, which will be helpful in the lab technician recruitment examination. First question, which anticoagulant is found in the body? Option A, ADTA. Option B, heparin. Option C, potassium oxalate. Option D, sodium citrate. Here, the right answer is option B, heparin. So if you see uh, what is meant by anticoagulant, anticoagulant, it decreases the blood's ability to clot. So if you see uh, the right answer is heparin. Heparin is naturally synthesized by mast cells of many tissues uh, such as lung, liver and gastrointestinal tract. So heparin is natural anticoagulant. And if you see other options, EDTA. So what is mean by EDTA? That is ethylene diamine tetraestic acid. So it is anticoagulant. It inhibits clotting by removing or by chelating calcium from the blood. And potassium oxalate, it is used for uh, chemical analysis. And sodium citrate, a sodium citrate anticoagulant, it is for uh, studies of like a platelet function and its a morphology. Next question, most common form of leukemia in children? Option A, AML. Option B, CLL. Option C, ALL. Option D, CML. So what is mean by AML? Uh, AML means acute myelogenous leukemia. And what is mean by CLL? That is chronic lymphocytic leukemia. And what is mean by ALL? That is acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And CML, that is chronic myelogenoma leukemia. Here, the right answer is ALL, that is acute lymphoblastic leukemia. So this is the most common uh, form of leukemia which we can see in children uh, in between two to four years. So 80% of leukemias are ALL in the children. And the second most one is AML, that is we can see 50 to 20% cases. And next CML, that is 2% cases we can see. So 80% of childhood leukemias are ALL. So in this condition, in the ALL, the bone marrow creates too many lymphoblast cells. So what are these lymphoblasts? They are the type of immature WBC. Next question. In Bombay's blood group, the phenotype of patient or donor is option A, O blood group, option B, B group, option C, A group, option D, AB group. Here, the right answer is option A, O group. So what is uh, Bombay blood group? So Bombay blood group people, they lack the A, B or H antigen on the RPC as well as in the secretions and the plasma. So the A Bombay blood group people, uh, their serum consists of very strong anti-H and anti-A, anti-B or anti-AB. So which... Uh, renders their antibodies incompatible with all other RBCs except those from uh, another Bombay individual. So next question, cells not having a direct role in phagocytosis. So what is mean by phagocytosis? That is engulfment of bacteria by the WBC. So here options are option A, neutrophils, Option B, macrophages. Option C, isnophils. Option D, basophils. Here, the right answer is option C, isnophils. So, isnophils, they are, they are not directly involved in the phagocytosis. Next question, AML is characterized by option A, hemolytic anemia. Option B, orders. Option C, Philadelphia chromosome. Option B, Dole bodies. So here, the right answer is option B, R-Rods. So what is meant by R-Rods or R-Bodies? 
So our rods or our bodies, they are large, crystalline, cytoplasmic inclusion bodies. So they are absorbed in uh, myeloid blast cells in case of AML, that is acute myeloid leukemia. And they are also found in acute promyelocytic leukemia, myeloproliferative disorders. So these R rods, uh, they are composed of fused liposomes and they are rich in lysosomal enzymes. And if you see other options, hemolytic anemia. So in the hemolytic anemia, the RBCs are uh, destroyed faster than that can be produced. So this hemolytic anemia may be inherited or acquired. So inherited means uh, like that is uh, from the like genes. So here when the parents pass the genes for this condition to their children, that is inherited. And what is acquired? So acquired it is not uh, with the like uh, bone. It is developed by the like uh, patients later. So such as in case of infections, either viral or bacterial infections, or by using of such medications such as penicillins or anti-malarial drugs, and in case of blood cancers or autoimmune disorders like uh, systemic lupus erythematis and uh, rheumatoid arthritis, and in case of certain tumors also. And what is meant by Philadelphia chromosome? So what is Philadelphia chromosome? So this Philadelphia chromosome forms when chromosome 9 and chromosome 22, this chromosome 9 and chromosome 22, they break and they exchange parts. So this breakage as well as exchange of parts create a short chromosome of 22. So this is short chromosome of 22. It is a new combination of uh, instruction for the like cells. So this new instruction can lead to the development of chronic myelogenous leukemia, that is CML. And if you see other option, dole bodies. So what are dole bodies? They are small, round, or oval, pale blue-gray uh, structures. They are pale blue-gray structures. They are found in the periphery of the neutrophil. So they consist of ribosomes, endoplasmic reticulum. So these dole bodies are seen in case of bacterial infections and tissue damage, that is severe tissue damage in case of burns. And they are also seen in case of inflammation and uh, leukemia reaction, etc. Next question, the solution used to fix a pap smear is option A, right stain, option B, hematoxylin, option C, physiological saline, option D, cytospray. Here, the right answer is cytosprayer. So cytosprayer, it is used to fix the pap smear. Next question, reticulocytosis is seen in option A, hemolytic anemia, option B, megaloblastic anemia, option C, aplastic anemia, option D, iron deficiency anemia. So what is mean by reticulocytes? Reticulocytes are the immature RBC. So they are immature RBC. What is reticulocytosis? That is increase in the circulating reticulocytes is called as the reticulocytosis. So here this reticulocytosis occurs during the active blood regeneration. That is during active blood production and even in certain types of anemia, especially hemolytic anemia. Here the right answer is hemolytic anemia. Reticulocytosis is seen in hemolytic anemia. If you see megaloblastic anemia, what is megaloblastic anemia? Uh, it is a form of uh, macrocytic anemia. So we can see abnormal large red blood cells. So this megaloblastic anemia is due to vitamin B12 or vitamin B9 deficiency. And if you see other option, that is aplastic anemia. So here in this case, the body stops producing enough new RBC or new blood cells. So generally, uh, stem cells in the bone marrow, they produce a like blood cells such as RBC, WBC and platelets. And in case of aplastic anemia, stem cells are damaged. As a result of this one, the bone marrow is either empty or it contains few blood cells. Next, uh, iron deficiency anemia. So what is meant by iron deficiency anemia? So in this condition, uh, the blood lacks uh, uh, adequate healthy RBC. So 
the this, this condition, the iron deficiency is due to the insufficient iron. So this can be corrected by iron supplementation. Next question, which of the following parameters is affected by using a tonic tonicate during blood collection? Option A, glucose. Option B, albumin. Option C, calcium. Option D, bilirubin. Here the right answer is option C, calcium. Here extended use of tonicate, um, that is like a, a extended time uh, for tonicate, it increases the uh, serum total calcium levels. So it uh, uh, this uh, tonicate time uh, it increases the like serum total calcium levels that is almost 1.0 mg per dl. So this variations in the serum total calcium uh, concentration it is caused by hemo concentration and uh, hemo dilution. So they have impact on the total calcium concentration because 50 percentage of circulating calcium is uh, a protein. Uh, bond that is 50 percentage of circulating calcium is protein bond. Next question normal reticulocyte count in adults is option A 3 to 6 percent, option B 0 0.5 to 2.5 percent, option C 1 to 5 percent, option D 2 to 10 percent. Here the right answer is option B 0 0.5 to 2.5 in the adults. And if you see in case of infants, that is 2 to 6 percentage. So reticulocytes, as we discussed, they are immature RBC. So in the adults, they are present 0 0.5 to 2.5 percent. That is normal concentration, normal count. In case of infants, it is 2 to 6. Next question, erythroblastotis fetalis is a condition in which option A, mother is RH positive and fetus is RH negative. Option B, mother is RH negative and fetus is RH positive. Option C, mother is RH positive and fetus is RH positive. And option D, all of the above. Here the right answer is option B, that is mother is RH negative and fetus is RH positive. So what is mean by erythroblastotis fetalis? So this is one of the rare pregnancy complication. Suppose if the mother is RH negative and if the baby is RH positive. Okay, so mother blood group is negative blood group. That is RH negative blood. And fetus is RH positive. So in this cases, antibodies are formed. So which antibody is formed? That is IgG antibody is formed. So as you know, IgG can cross through the placenta. So it would destroy the RBC of neonate or fetus. This immunoglobulin, that IgG antibody is formed and it would, can cross through the placenta. It would destroy the like a uh, fetal RBC. It would destroy the RBC of neonate or fetus. So that is called as erythroblastotis pyotalis. So that is also called as uh, hemolytic disease of newborn. Next question. Which coagulation factor is lacking in hemophilia A? Option A, factor 8. Option B, factor 4. Option C, factor 2. Option D, factor 7. Here the right answer is option A, that is factor 8. So what is hemophilia? Hemophilia, it is a hereditary bleeding disorders. So here why this bleeding disorder takes place? It is because of absence of blood clotting factor. So what is that blood clotting factor? That is factor 8. So factor 8 it is called as anti-hemophilic factor. And if you see other options, factor 4 is ionized calcium and factor 2 is prothrombin and factor 7 is stable factor or proconverting. Next question, what is the average daily requirement for insulin? Option A, 30 to 50 units per day. Option B, 50 to 70 units per day. Option C, 70 to 90 units per day. Option D, 90 to 110 units per day. Here the right answer is option A, that is 30 to 50 units per day. Next question, menstrual blood generally does not clot due to the presence of which substance in uterine wall? Here option A, 
thrombin activators, option B, plasmin activators, option C, anticoagulants, option D, heroin. Here the right answer is plasmin activators. So because of this plasmin activators, so menstrual blood, so generally it doesn't clot. Next question. Transfusion of blood or blood products previously collected from the same person is called Option A, direct transfusion. Option B, indirect transfusion. Option C, autologous transfusion. Option D, homologous transfusion. Here the right answer is autologous transfusion. So what is meant by autologous transfusion? It is the collection and reinfusion of patient's own blood, which means in the autologous transfusion, the donor and the recipient is the same person. So we collect the blood from one person and the same blood it is like re-infused or it is transfused to the same person. So here donor and the recipient is the same person that is called as autologous transmission. Next question, increased osmotic fragility is seen in option A, hereditary spherocytosis, option B, iron deficiency anemia, option C, sickle cell anemia, and option D, thalassemia. Here, the right answer is option A, hereditary spherocytosis. So here, uh, what it, in the hereditary spherocytosis, uh, that is also one of the inherited blood disorder. It is because of the uh, problem with the like a RBC. So in this case, RBCs are more fragile. More fragile means they have tendency to break easily. Next question. What is found in the <clears throat> what is found in the blood serum that is also in blood plasma? Option A blood cells, option B platelets, option C plasma proteins, option D clotting factors. Here the right answer is option C plasma proteins. So this plasma proteins they are present both in blood serum as well as in the blood plasma. Next question the process by which the specimen is preserved in its original condition is called option A, mounting, option B, autolysis, option C, clearing, option D, fixation. Here the right answer is option D, that is fixation. Next question, Wilson disease occur due to accumulation of. So here option A, copper, option B, zinc, Option C, mercury. Option D, none of the above. Here the right answer is option A, that is copper. So Wilson disorder, this is also rare inherited condition. So in this condition, excessive, like a copper levels are uh, built up in the excessive quantities in several organs, especially in liver, brain, and eyes. Next question, CSF sample should be taken in three bottles and these bottles must be sent to lab in the sequence as option a first biochemistry second microbiology third pathology four for special studies option b first for special special studies and second pathology third microbiology and fourth biochemistry and option c first biochemistry second pathology third for special studies and fourth for microbiology. Here option D, none of the above. Here the right answer is option A. So first of all, we have to send the CSF sample to the biochemistry, next to microbiology, next to pathology and for special studies. So this is the correct sequence of sending the CSF sample. Next question, numerous pus cells in urine indicates Option A, bacterial infection. Option B, SLE, that is systemic lupus erythematis. Option C, viral infection. Option D, liver infection. Here the right answer is option A, bacterial infection. Thank you.